Today, we're installing Android x86. Yes, hello, welcome! In order to install Android x86, we have to download the OS itself. So just type Android x86 here in our web browser. And the first result will be the website. Press the download button. The first mirror. And then we have the choice to either choose the 32 bits or the 64 bits. We will use the 64 bit because we have a more modern system that we will be installing the OS in this tutorial. So here we have the 64 bit. The download will begin shortly. So now we can go ahead and install Rufus, which we will need to create a bootable USB device. Press the Rufus 3.5 portable. That will be a much simpler solution than installing a software. And now we're gonna wait for the download to finish. Now that the downloads are complete, we can go ahead and double click on the Rufus app here. We're inside the app because this is the portable version. We don't have to install the software. Plug in your USB flash drive and select it right here. We have the Kingston here, Kingston Auto Traveler. And we will now select our ISO image here in the select menu. And now we will change the partition scheme to GPT and it will use the target system UEFI. And now we're gonna go ahead and just press start. And right in ISO image mode recommended, we will press OK here. And just OK here. And now it will create our bootable USB device and we'll just have to wait for this process to finish up. Now the process is complete and now the USB flash drive is ready to be used as a bootable USB drive. So now we can go ahead and install Android x86. In order to boot into the USB bootable device, you will have to use the specific method for your computer because it's different in every computer. I'm using a Microsoft Surface Pro generation 1 here, so I will have to hold the volume down button and the power button. And now I can release the buttons and hopefully we will boot into the USB flash drive. Yes, we did it. Now we're going to press advanced options here. We're going to press auto install to specified hard disk. Enter. And now we're going to press the hard disk, SDA, and we're going to press yes here. And now it's writing the image. And now it's done and now we can reboot here but plug out the USB flash drive before you press the reboot button here. And now we're gonna press reboot. And now it's rebooting. And now it's going to take a while because this is the first time the system is booting. And now you can see the system is booting up to the setup process. I will skip the setup process and I will show you when I'm done with this so you can see that the system actually works. Voila! The system actually works. We can use here the Google Chrome. Or we can dive into the app drawer here, YouTube here. You can see the video is playing here. 
It really works, amazing! And this was really easy. And yes, now you have Android x86 on your system. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions and we'll try to help you out as fast as we can. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to show some support. And don't forget that notification bell so you can get notified of our new videos. And don't forget to share this video to show your friends and family if they need this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe. It's the most important things of all so we can grow this channel together. Thank you so much again. Remember, this is... Human! And certain! <laughs>